I want you to see this vortex. See all that? Look at that over there. That's a giant mountain of snow. Dirty ass government inspired snow. Now, does this mean that all the snowstorms are rigged? No. But whenever the timing falls in line with something else and it just kind of sort of makes sense and you connect certain dots and you're like, wait a minute, then you know, then you know. Just pay attention to the timing and you'll figure everything out. <laughs> a lot of people don't want to do that. And then they call people that pay extra attention crazy. Because that's what it means to pay attention to stuff. It means that you're crazy. <laughs> don't pay attention. Don't, don't be a logical person. Uh-uh. New York Times will scold you for critical thinking. Um, Did y'all see that? That's literally an article of New York Times. It's a headline. It's a headline. Critical thinking is bad. I don't I don't think that that was exactly what they said but they, to that effect. They're discouraging you from critical thinking. Not that people were really doing this much to be in with, but now they're going to do it even less because the New York Times encourages them to continue to remain dumb. No. For those that say, "Oh, but we have to stop the spread of misinformation." Okay, that's retarded. You are a silly and foolish and just downright stupid person if you think that's even remotely possible to begin with. But the fact that you would think that that's something that we should try to do. And who gets to have that responsibility? Who, who decides who gets to have that responsibility? Experts, right? Experts? Government officials? They get to decide? Who tells us what the truth is? I mean, that's just ridiculous. The only way that you can figure out the truth is by comparing and contrasting and paying attention and uh, not paying attention to stuff that they tell you to pay attention to, but paying attention to stuff that they don't tell you to pay attention to, like what I just mentioned. I could do these rants every day, all day. I really could. But. Yeah, man. I gotta say, it's really depressing working here now. Because I've just watched this place change so much. And. It's just turned to shit. <laughs> I mean. There was a part of me that really, really loved doing my job and coming here. And it was like, I looked forward to it. I just don't give a shit anymore. I'm so apathetic. And I realized that it's like, I probably seem like a total loser being in my mid thirties and I'm still working at some crap restaurant and I've been working here on and off for the past, uh, got eight years or something. I mean, that's crazy. Nine years, actually. I think eight and a half, something like that. Let's be fair. It was eight and a half years. Because I started, I started here in October of 2012. And yeah, that's when we were like 24 hours and we were just constantly busy. And we have way more food than we do now. They've taken off so many items on the menu. And now we don't even like do shakes the same way. It's, it's just so depressing. Like one of the perks of this place was that it was like old school, you know, hand dipped milkshakes. That was, that was the thing. It was a signature. And now like they don't have that to offer anymore. I know I'm spilling all the secrets, but I don't know. 
obviously I don't really think much of this job. I mean, one of my managers just put in her two weeks and it just makes me really sad because I'm going to miss the hell out of her. And not to say that I should just quit because so many people have quit and I miss the hell out of them. But they had to move on with their life. They had to go off and do something better than this shit. And I'm the only one crazy enough to just keep coming back here. And I think in the beginning, it was because I was a pothead and it just made sense. And most of the people that work in restaurants are, you know, drug addicts. So, you know, you fit right in. You get tight with people you work with and... And then it sort of becomes like a family and you get paid to hang out and talk shit with your family. You might be stressed out, you might be pissed off, but you're getting paid and you get to work with a bunch of people that are like you, you know, fucked up. <laughs> That's what's cool about this job. And I think it's that way in a lot of jobs, but this job in particular is like, this has definitely been my favorite job. It's been a fun job. Even, even though it's been stressful and crazy and chaotic, it's still been fun and I've learned a lot. So I just kind of worry that I'm, I'm holding myself back. Mainly because I need to do comedy. I, I, I'm really selling myself short, not pursuing that more because I know that I could take it a lot more seriously and I guess like now's not really the time to like I don't know like how can you tour right now I mean I guess you could do that like on some like lower scale I mean it's not like I'm, I'm really into performing at some massive stadium or anything like that but it would just be nice to be able to make a living off of it I'll be real that would be really awesome to get paid to do what you're good at and what you do naturally no matter what whether you get paid or not you're still going to do it so that would be really cool if you got paid <laughs> that would be awesome But I don't know, I just fucking hate this world so much. And I feel like so many people will find me off-putting because I just, I'm, I'm not a sheep. And so I don't do it the sheep way. And people just don't understand that. Or they just think I'm too stubborn for my own good. Or I don't want to be successful. I mean, maybe I don't. I don't know. I want to be successful in my own way. I don't want to be successful in the way of the modern world because the modern world is crap. And anybody that supports anything of this world has just been brainwashed their entire life. They've been indoctrinated to think that all the stuff that's been subjected to them is remotely positive or going to do anything constructive or help them out in any kind of way, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy all the stuff that they throw at us and none of it, you know, does anything that's any good. But yet people still keep falling for it. People still keep buying more of the same shit. You know? It's like, say you bought a tube of lipstick and you wore it and, and maybe you felt good about yourself for like a minute, but then it faded. And not just the lipstick color, but, like, just the excitement of that. Now you gotta go get more lipstick. So you, so you can pretend that you're gonna have this exciting experience that you don't ever really have. They've been selling women this idea that, oh, if we just buy these products, you know, we won't hate ourselves. That's obviously not true. Um, <laughs> like... I don't, I don't think that you could wear enough makeup or hairspray or the right kind of jeans, you know? 
maybe skinny jeans aren't your thing. Maybe uh, bootleg jeans are your thing, you know? <laughs> but see, it doesn't matter. It's all the same shit. It really is. They're fucking pants, you know? Jeans, rather. So it's just like, the whole idea is like, oh, we're, we're gonna do something different. But it's not. If you wanna do something different, you stop wearing makeup. There you go. Save, save yourself money, save yourself time, save yourself all that energy that you've wasted pretending that you're gonna look better or feel better about yourself. How about you just completely disregard that? How about you just stop caring about your physical appearance? Unless, of course, you're morbidly obese or you're really unhealthy or something, then take care of that, please. But I'm talking about your image, specifically your image. If women in particular, but I would say at this point, the entirety of the human race, but specifically women, if we all just stop caring about our, our image and our physical appearance, and we started paying more attention to our character and our integrity and honesty and consistency and shit like that, you know, this world would be a way better place. But you'll have the same pieces of shit that are so obsessed with image that, you know, they'll, they'll defend their right to be miserable and buy a bunch of shit that doesn't make them any less miserable, but, you know, they need that placebo, right? They need that validation. Everybody does now, apparently. Anyway. I, uh... I got let out of work early. I thought that... Well, actually, I, th I thought we were going to close early, but we didn't. Because we got some business tonight. But... I was just like, go, because we're too slow. But that's fine. I'm going to drive home now. <laughs>